Hey guys, what's going on? I'm gonna show you how to uh, set up your console fonts in your um, your Debian distro. Uh, might not work with all of them, but I know in, in in Linux Mint it works. So probably like in Ubuntu or some other Debian distros it, it may work too. So let's go. Okay, so when you log into your console, okay, when you hit your uh, Control Alt F1, right? F3, right? When you hit that, you'll notice everything's very small, okay? Well, we want to make them bigger. And not only do we want to make them bigger, we can make them bigger by saying set font and uh, your font, you know, whatever that is, okay, your favorite font, right? We could set that um, after we log in, but that just is, uh, you know, not the Linux way. We want to make it run uh, at boot time, okay? Um, I think I think you can use fonts that are back here in the uh, user share uh, fonts. I'm not sure. I didn't. I never. I didn't use this approach to it, but I think they are located here. Let me try X11. But we're in a console, so that's a problem because the X11 fonts are not going to work in the console. But or may not work in the console, I, I don't know, but these are some fonts back here, but, um, there's your fonts here, right, so if you wanted to say something like set font while you're in the console, um, you know, whatever that, whatever font you may choose, or, you know, you could do that, or, or, you could go to Etsy defaults, okay, and inside the Etsy defaults, um, I think these are default settings for things that are running um, at, I don't want to necessarily say only at boot time, um, some of these may not be set to run at boot time, I'm not sure. And it looks like they're all just read, they're all reads, okay. So, some of these may be set, um, some of these may not be set, they're like config files. Okay, like you see that we have a um, Etsy grub, okay, and at the tail end of the video I'll get into that how you can change your grub menu so you can get it uh, a little bit bigger and readable, um, how it used to be back with the old grubs, like in, uh, what is, I think it was 90s, 90s, 97, grub 97, something like that, alright, so that's that. Now, you have a console setup file in here, okay, unless it out, console setup, um, this console setup file is where you can change your fonts at, uh, I think maybe it would be a good idea, I'd do it, you know, if you put in a tag here, uh, kind of like end the date when you changed it, if you make any alterations to this file back here, because it would it would be the worst thing like in the world if you made an alteration and don't remember how it was and you gotta go search for it. Okay? Okay. So I changed this to verbose output. Uh, I don't think this does anything. Right? Um, I really don't. Actually, I'm lying. Cause I think it does something, but it's not very major. Okay? Um, the chart map UTF-8, I didn't screw with that. That's how it used to be. Um, the only thing I did alter in this down here was I changed uh, on Linux Mint 13 by default you get the font face fixed, right? Well, I changed that, and I changed that to a terminus bold font, okay? And how I knew where to get it from, I just looked up here, and what what all this stuff it said here, you know, valid font faces are VGA terminus, and then I gave the sizes after that. Terminus bold gave the sizes. Terminus VGA sizes and all that stuff like that, so I just, you know, used my calculator and, um, <laughs> my brain, and I just, uh, altered this, okay? So, I changed this to Terminus Bold, and, um, that, that takes a, um, setting of 32 by 16, or you could go smaller, but I found 32 by 16 was, okay, it's actually kind of a little big, I could go smaller with it, but, hey, when your console was like teeny tiny and uh, <laughs> you find a way to change it, you're going to go the biggest you can, right? So that's that. 
Now the rest of the stuff in here, it didn't really change. I didn't change anything else within this file here. Okay. But that's what I did. I set that, um, I got that, the, the, what do you call it, um, I just edited this file here. Alright, and by doing that, you will then be able to, uh, get this to run at boot time. Because it's going to read from those, uh, it's going to read from these files back here at boot time. So it's not really as complex as, uh, Slackware, um, but that's how you do it. Now, uh, your grub menu, if I say, I'm in Etsy, if I say, go back into defaults, and if I want to mess with the grub default back here, this is kind of interesting. Um, I'm not familiar with Rub 2, I'm still back in the 80s with, you know, Rub 97, um, on some of my machines, and I, I like that better, actually, it seems to be more friendly to me. Uh, Grub 2's not so much friendly to me, and, um, they have this configuration file in here, so instead of saying something like, you know, default equals zero, a timeout 10, and everything else like that, how you would do in a, like a Grub 97, um, menu.list, I haven't found a menu.list in um, Mint, so it's a little foreign to me. I, I like the menu.list, it seems easier to alter. But there is this here. Um, the grub default zero. I think by default that happens. Um, you have a hidden timeout. You can change these back here, is what I'm saying. You've got the timeout, the regular timeout of 10. If you want to change it to 5, so you have less time to log in, because maybe you only have one operating system and you don't really need to flip flop through all the uh you know stuff there. But um the command line this is I haven't done this yet but I heard this what you can do to I think to make it a verbose output on boot up because a, a lot of uh mainstream distros don't have like this uh don't have a verbose output. It's just you know it cut the screen kind of blacks out, and it waits for the uh, GDM to pick it up, and X to go, and then all of a sudden, bang, you're in your stuff. But, I think you can change this to, um, if you omit quiet, I think that'll make it run like that. I don't know, I haven't done it yet, but I think I've seen a tutorial. Now, to set console resolution uh, for the Grub console, okay, for the Grub menu, now, I've noticed in 14, when I first installed 14, the grub menu was super small, okay? Uh, and, you know, it just didn't look how I wanted it to. So you can change that, um, like, I commented out this line here. Actually, I, un I think I uncommented it. No. What happened was, this line here did not have uh, 915 mode set, zero, no mode set. Okay, it was blank. Well, I added that, and I found this on a forum somewhere, so I decided to throw it in there, and it made everything bigger for me, okay, which is pretty cool, but, um, something happened, and I couldn't, um, dual boot my machine anymore. I got a kernel panic with my Linux software, and I don't know why that happened, so I, I just commented that back, or I commented out totally, because I don't I like to have my stuff or what. And here is actually how you make the um, the, the settings bigger or the menu bigger in your grub menu. Okay? So you just change this uh, to whatever you want. Alright? And that's it. And the rest of the stuff in here is uh, good for other stuff. I'm not sure. But that's how you do it. Okay, so, that was a quickie, and I hope you guys, um, uh, like this, like this video on how to install bigger fonts on your console. That way, I, I like my console, I like being in the back, I can, you know, do whatever. It's just fun being back there. I have also, too, I'm going to talk about some videos on, um, some, uh, IRC chats, uh, <coughs> just go over some stuff about using just straight console and like no 
no GDM at all. Okay? So, that's that. And everybody, have a great day.